Groove Six. I call this one Latin Magic. It's based on the Carlos Santana song, uh, Black Magic Woman. It has a minor flavored bass line with a nice motif that repeats in each bar. Let's check it out. Let's break this one down. It starts uh, in the key of D. D minor is the whole, the whole groove has kind of a minor uh, feel to it. And it's a Latin bass, a Latin flavored rock tune. So it's not a straight eighth note kind of rock groove. Um, that's what I like about some of the rock songs of the 70s of that genre. It had like a lot of different flavors were mixed into, uh, it wasn't all one kind of, one style of music. Um, so this is a Latin flavor one with the rock guitar kind of going on beyond, behind the, the Latin groove. Okay, so it's going to re refer back to this dotted quarter eighth. It seems like that, that pattern again happens a lot. And it's, it's not like it starts all sounding the same, but it's put in different contexts where it sounds different almost in every, in every song you put it in, in each bass line. So it, again, it has the dotted, eighth, dotted quarter eighth. So one and two and so, and then it has this riff that goes C C D C. So it goes kind of up to the octave. It goes like from D starts in the root D, and then it goes to the five with the with the eighth note. So dotted quarter, the eighth note on A. Then it goes to this, which the C actually is the flat seven. So when you're in minor, in a minor chord, using a, a playing a minor chord, that flat seven always works well. Um, the flat seven and the flat third are kind of the characteristic notes of the, uh, of the minor chord. So this flat, flat seven works good over, over minor chords. When somebody's playing a minor chord, you know, go to that, go to that flat seven. Okay, and you can figure that out from, if you go to the octave, of a note, and you go down a whole step, this half step, whole step, that's where the minor seventh is, okay? So, one and two and three and four and, okay? So, and it's, it's tough sometimes uh, trying to keep those other strings from ringing when you skip over strings like that. I mean, even me, I have to find ways to mute those other strings so they don't ring out you know, while you're playing, uh, when you skip up to the, the higher string like that. So that might take a little time, but the more you practice, the better you'll get at that, at muting the other strings. So that's the motif, one and two. Okay, and you're also gonna do that in bar two, it's gonna be the same thing, root two and three and four, and so it's gonna repeat that same motif. And then in the third bar, uh, it's gonna move down to A minor. So I'm going to use this A at the fifth fret here on the E string. Same motif. It's going to be the A the root goes up to the fifth on that eighth note. One and two and and that's the E. And then it does that same motif uh, starting in the flat seventh of A, which is going to be G this time. So it's G A G. So G G A G. Okay, and when it, then it's going to move down in bar four to G and do the same motif, but in G. So one and two, F, 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 G, F. So same motif in each, for each bar but just it changes as the, as the chords change. Okay, so now that you have all the notes, let's break it down. Play it slowly. 
Um, I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Thank you.